think of painting as a high wire act, you know, you, you can fall flat on your face at any moment. And so it does demand a measure of courage. Not the running into a burning house to save someone kind of courage, but things can go badly in painting and they do quite frequently, no matter how long you've been at it. And so the, the, the act of opening your door and letting your art into the world is to make yourself vulnerable in a way that's not at all easy and, and very frequently uncomfortable. Because even when you feel you've done your very best work, the moment you allow the world outside your space to see that work, in a sense, it, it no longer belongs to you and you don't get to control the conversation that happens around it. So if you think of a landscape painting as being about a place or someone's portrait as being about a person, uh, I think of still life paintings as being about time. Because whatever the painter chooses to put into the piece, if it's a modern object, for example, that's going to tell you something about the time during which the painting was done. If it's an antique object, that again says something to the viewer about that notion of time. And so it's that storytelling aspect of still life art that inspires me. Uh, that ability that it has to tell us about the time that we live in. Sometimes it's with a tinge of nostalgia, sometimes with a little bit of humor, but almost always with that sensibility of here's a little bit of what it's like to be human and isn't it terrible and isn't it wonderful. And the kicker, of course, is that you can change where you are or to a certain extent even how you are, but there's absolutely nothing you can do about when you are. And so what I hear from people uh, sometimes is that something in one of my paintings triggered a memory. Um, and that to me is really the magic of this art form. It's about exploring those memories because that's where the, the real power of the still life is, that ability it has to tap into those shared experiences and to say something about them. I think a lot of painters are just looking for something, you know, pushing paint around, hoping it appears at the end of the brush. Some sense of understanding where you fit in, some sense of connection. Uh, you know, whether it's connection to the land or to people or to, to time. Just that, that notion of belonging. And so painting, uh, not to take the metaphor too far, but it's a little bit like a crowbar that you can use to pry the lid off and see what's inside yourself. 